Tsunami diplomacy ضرب منطقة A diplomatic tsunami has hit the Gulf region following the unprecedented move by Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, Yemen and Egypt to abruptly cut ties with Qatar, placing the country in complete isolation. For further insight into these developments in the Gulf and the severing of relations with Qatar, I'm joined from London via Skype by the editor-in-chief of al Al-Yom newspaper, Mr. Abdel Bari Atwan. What are the reasons behind this crisis and why are these countries cutting ties now? I think the crisis has been triggered by the growing ties between Qatar and Iran. Qatar is continuing its support for the Muslim Brotherhood. It also has strong relations with Hamas. There were deals in 2014 that Qatar would cut its relations with Iran and the Muslim Brotherhood, but Qatar did not stick to these. Now there is an Arab Islamic alliance, an Arab NATO, so to speak, which is stacked against Iran and sponsored by Donald Trump. It seems as if Qatar has distanced itself from this new alliance. How are you reading the Turkish, Russian and Iranian reactions to this Gulf crisis? I do not think that Turkey will risk any conflict with Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Egypt and the US over Qatar. Russia is increasingly cozying up to Saudi Arabia, and I also don't believe Iran would enter into a war to support Qatar. You know, Iran didn't enter into the Syrian war in a direct way, and Syria is an ally. Do you think Iran will enter a war for Qatar? These countries are telling Qatar indirectly make concessions and accept the conditions of Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates if you want peace. What do you expect in the coming days? And to what extent could the crisis escalate? In the next few days, I expect more pressure on Qatar. There is no more trust between Qatar and its regional neighbors. The latest decision is aimed at piling more pressure on Qatar so that it will fully commit to the other Gulf countries' conditions. Otherwise, these countries will move to Plan B, which in my view could be military action.